Home Improved. Do it yourself projects. Danger DIY. Hey there, DIYers. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Today I'm going to be tackling the uh, generator project and uh, I'm going to be moving all of these switches down and because I need this first spot for my 50 amp circuit breaker because where I'm going to be installing the interlock, that's where that's going to fit. Um, so that is what I'm going to be working on this morning. So this is the side I'm going to be installing at. I'm going to be installing a pad right here, hooking in to the propane right here, and then just installing onto the electrical box, a 50 amp circuit here, interlocked with this so that it can't be turned on at the same time that's on to protect for backflow of the electricity and moving the other switches down. So first thing I'm gonna do is take off this outer cover and that just is held on by some screws. Mine were missing the screws, so didn't have to take any off. Just gonna take those off there. And that's gonna reveal this here. And what I am going to do is shut off the power and start just moving these circuits down. They should just pull right out and, uh, and then I can reinstall them below that. So I'm just gonna hit the power off and it's gonna be my septic system alarm going off there. And uh, I'm gonna go silence that real quick and then I'll be right back. Working on electricity is dangerous and not disconnecting power before working on electrical wiring could lead to serious injury or death. Disconnect all power from the lines and double check to make sure they are off with a multimeter. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. All right, so I got that alarm turned off. It's actually my refrigerator alarm battery backed up, so um, that's what it was there for. Anyway, so this is all off now. I'm just going to pull these out and uh, and then move them over. So to pull these, I just put a screwdriver in here and then just pushed it. Just put a screwdriver in here and just pushed it over, and that loosened it up. And I just went down and did each of these top three, and I think that's going to take care of creating the spaces that I need. So I've already run into a little bit of a problem with uh, this connector here being too short to fit into the second slot that I needed into. So what I'm gonna to need to do is extend that wire just a bit. So I'm gonna be using these uh, split bolt connectors and uh, that's the one I'm using here. And just basically putting one into the wire on each side of it. And then I'm gonna wrap that up in electrical tape to insulate it from anything else. So here you can see how I re-spliced that wire in. Um, and so it looked like this one over here. And now it's all wrapped up and spliced together. I did tighten these up with a wrench. Um, power's off, by the way, and this isn't connected. This isn't a connected circuit anyway. But uh, just uh, keep that in mind. Don't touch anything if you don't know for sure it's not live. Um, but anyway, wrapped up, completely done. I wish I could put some shrink heat tube around it. I don't have anything that big, otherwise I would just shrink heat tube that. But uh, I'll just tape it up. It's definitely not pretty. And I don't know if I ever go sell the house, if that's gonna be good to go. I think they're probably gonna require it to be like some type of mounting bracket or something in there, like a junction, but I don't know. Um, definitely, it's a solid splice that works. And I used a really heavy duty connector for it and way over heavy duty wiring on the way out of it. So. I don't think it'll be an issue from that standpoint for a 30 amp circuit, um, but uh, only time will tell on the uh, on the inspection. Ultimately, when I leave though, I can just remove the uh, generator standby and move that back up and reuse the wiring the way it was. So that's all in there. Now I'm gonna need to knock out one of these ports here. I've already loosened it up. So I'm gonna take that one right there. So I went ahead and got the wiring installed up to here. And then it's back off. And uh, top wires here are the uh, ones going out to the generator through the conduit here and coming there. I'll go ahead and terminate those in a box here in a second. I uh, bonded the grounding wire coming off of here to here. That's the new ground wire. And then I took the neutral wire and I run that, ran that up to there. So that's all the wiring for this. This is gonna stay off. And so I can go ahead and turn this back on and it's energized now. This, the main power was still always on the whole time I was working on this. I just turned off the breaker. Um, one thing you can do to make this safer is go ahead and pull the actual um, panel on this and that'll take care of it as well. So I've attached the little pigtail off of the conduit here and um, have the wiring here. I've got my little box 
and I'm putting that on now. So the box will go on like this and pretty much just wiring that up. And the hard part of this job is done and uh, I will get that wired up and show you the final wiring on it. The box I'm using has everything color coded. Red's gonna go here, white's here, and black is there. And of course, green goes to green, uh, which is the ground. So uh, pretty straightforward and easy. Let's go ahead and get it wired up and I will uh, show you closer. So here we are uh, with it all hooked up, all the wires going to where it needs to go, red to red, black to black, green to green, and white to white, and ground to ground. So uh, this just goes back on and seals down, and that will be that. So I will uh, finish up this part of it, and then I'll lay a pad and get a generator hooked up to this thing. So, but this was the hard part. Um, I still need to install the interlock and I'll cover that in a video as well. So there it is all installed up and uh, have it switched. I do have the switch taped off right now just for safety purposes so nobody turns it on. Uh, just because here, if somebody was just to touch those with it turned on, it would cause all kinds of problems for them. But it's off right now and this is dead. So just leave that closed up weather tight and that is ready to go to back feed uh, power in case of emergency. Um, I need to install the airlock switch and then also get a screw to screw that down. So I'll get all that stuff on order. And as soon as it comes in, I'll finish that up. I'm still gonna run a pad right here, tie into the propane there, and uh, that will uh, finish up the installation for the generator for um, making sure I have backup power for the house at least uh, up to 40 amps of backup power. Thanks uh, again for watching another uh, edition of uh, Danger DIY. Um, I appreciate any comments or feedback you have. Uh, please like and subscribe to, the, uh, to my channel. And uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask, um, but uh, I'll be happy to answer them. And if you have any suggestions on how I could do something better or something I should include in future videos, uh, please let me know and I'll make sure to do it. Thanks a lot. Danger DIY. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.